Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 17th, 18th, and 19th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. Have you started that business yet? Anyway, anyway, my Pisces, um, you know, weekend reading, Bradley Valentine decks. I'm using angel tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to just pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Cards were, n they were kind of a little weird right there as they fell out. Anyway, I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power. Whatever the message needs to come through, it does for whoever may need to receive it. Three cards are face down, the second and third are reversed, and they did all kind of fall out weirdly. Um, so that gives a little bit more oomph to it too. New moon on the 20th, and it's the second new moon of Cancer. So remember, full moon to new moon as it gets smaller, get rid of things. New moon to full moon as it gets bigger, request. But this new moon is, all, is gonna be all about second chances and possibly restarting something, okay? So let's see what we have for our Pisces um, for the weekend. First card, the two of fire, two of fire, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate, burning, determined. There's also, you know, this also has kind of that, that inner push, that inner knowledge, that inner like little let's go and do, let's go and do, okay? So, you know, this could be a connection with, you know, possibly with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. It could be a partnership. Maybe you're developing into a new partnership. Maybe you're committing to a new partnership. But there's something that, you know, it's not, you're not going through this weekend alone, okay? You do, not, you, you're holding someone's hand. Now, again, it could be very much that work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could also be family or home type of relationship, but you're not doing it alone. You're actually, whatever, whoever this is, it's actually giving you that push to say, yes, Pisces, you can do this. You've got the energy. You've got actually, it's, it, this is also about saying, yes, you should be confident in what you do. So enter this weekend no, full of confidence, okay? knowing that you have come to a place where a lot of your plans are being laid out and they're starting to actually, you know, fruition. They're starting to actually grow. Okay, two of fire, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Your next card, this one's reversed, here we go. The ace of air, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini energy, thought processes, new ideas, thinking things through. But the aces are all about that new beginning. So whatever this is, because remember at the beginning I said, did you start the business yet? You are, uh, you know, my Pisces, you have a lot of creativity and you have, you know, you're on such a, a brink of new type of energy. You know, you've been there, you've been there, you've been doing a lot of your work. So now, so now, even though your plan has been put in place and you've been acting, there may be some tweaks to your plan. There may be one of these strategic type of thoughts. So again, may, again, that business thing comes for whoever that is, and maybe you're thinking of a new way of advertising or this new, new idea on how to advertise, how to get your name out there comes to you, okay? Or it could be your maybe you're looking for that job you need and you're you're applying for something that you know like I can do this I may not necessarily have the credentials but I have the the I have the knowledge and maybe this is how you frame that letter how you frame that um, you know your resume so that people can see that okay but this is your thoughts this is he and possibly it's hearing new news also okay. So Ace of Air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So now my Pisces, nothing's ever easy. You know, sometimes things work well, but it's not easy. But the thing about this is you are more than up to that challenge. This one is reversed. Here we go. The Seven of Water. Now, water is your energy. Along with Cancer, it's also Scorpio energy, fluid, emotional 
There is also that undercurrent of just, you know, of that, um, you know, that spiritual type of undercurrent with water energy too. We're having that new moon. So, you know, the, the thing is, remember I said you need to make sure, you know, you need to go forward with confidence. The thing about the confidence is, you know, there's other, there, there's, you know, it's, it's like you're coming to some pathways. It's like, you know, do I go this way? Do I go that way? It's not necessarily, well, you know, there could be some crossroads, some crosswalks. There could be some of that. And you're, you're thinking, do I go forward? Do I go forward? Do I act upon my plans? Is this a good time to do that now? Or should I hold back a little bit longer? Now, I'm going to say it looks like, it feels like it's a good time for you to go forward with your plans on this. But if you don't think you have all the ducks, your ducks in a row, if you don't think you have everything ready for it, then, you know, I mean, you know, you have to do what feels right for you. But in the way I'm looking at this, you know, so this is all about decisions. This is all about, you know, making some choices. And, you know, again, too, you know what I say, connect with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. A complex decision, the need to do research, so you need to make sure that you get your ducks in a row and stop procrastinating. Okay, so let's go on and see what we have now. One last card for my Pisces with my Archangel Power Tarot cards. Ah, oh, well, that one definitely uh, flew out. Anyway, anyway, your last card is the Queen of Gabriel. Now, this Queen of Gabriel is fire energy. It is Leo. We're about to enter into Leo season. Yes, I will get Leo cards out. Leo season is also Sagittarius. It's also Aries, passionate, burning, determined. It's you taking action. It's you saying, I'm going to do this. So whatever this complex decision is, and it's telling you, hey, you know, Pisces, stop thinking it over so much. Stop think, Stop feeling it so much. You know, you know what to do. You know what to do. Now, the Queen of Gabriel is saying, just do it. Just do it. Because you know what? You can. You can. You've got everything together. You have what you need to go ahead and do it. So, this is passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So, you know, and also to remember, fire energy, fire energy. So you've got a lot of that energy that says it's time for you to move, it's time for you to do, it's time for you to act. Okay? Okay. So interesting, interesting. We'll see what happens. Now, my Pisces, if you enjoy my readings, remember down there, the like, share, subscribe, it all helps to support the channel. But as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.